What's happening guys, it's Shane here and in today's video I'm going to be interviewing Orlando. Now Orlando is an actor who lives in LA. And if you're not familiar with this profession, acting is obviously a type of art and it's also very competitive. It's hard to make a living as an actor. So Orlando was working odd jobs and he also worked as a waiter and he wanted to find a way for him to have some sort of steady income that he could rely on. And he also wanted to find a job that was flexible enough that he could always do his acting related stuff on the side. And on top of that, he wanted to find a job that he could do remotely so he didn't have to spend three hours in traffic every day in LA. And so this is the story of how Orlando discovered digital marketing and he was able to get into it without any experience at all. And I think you're really going to enjoy this one whether you're an artist or you're really ambitious or you're just somebody who needs a really good career so that they can fund their dreams. So let's jump right into it right after you gently tap that like button. Let's aim for 300 likes on this video and let's start right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very special guest. Orlando. Orlando is an actor and a digital marketer, and he's going to share his story about how he got into digital marketing. And this is going to be especially useful for all of my viewers out there who are artistic and want to do a career or some sort of freelance or start their own business in the arts. So thank you so much, Orlando, for coming on the channel. Yeah, for sure. Um, thanks for having me. You know, happy to be here and, you know, share my, my experiences as a, as an actor living in, in uh, Los Angeles and how I, you know, made the move to dig digital uh, marketing. Got it. All right. So let's go ahead and start at the very beginning uh, before you even discovered uh, digital marketing. So you were working as an actor. You also had some other uh, side hustles you were doing and then you were i believe you were working as a waiter as well can you kind of uh, walk us through that and the process of discovering digital marketing yeah for sure so um you know my story as far as acting goes is not very um it's usually very common you know persons whether wherever they're from they get the idea that oh, they want to move to hollywood or to la to pursue this thing called acting um i was no different uh when i started you know i came um to the city in in uh the city of la and, you know, I put all my resources in, into uh, studying acting, trying to, first of all, figure out what this acting thing was, because, you know, I had no experience, I didn't know. Um, doing that, you know, I was able to, you know, get some jobs in, in television, some indie films, you know, when I first started, I first started doing short films, um, eventually, you know, made some progress, did um, get some roles in television, which was amazing. And, uh, you know, other films uh, made for TV movies as well. I was doing what I, what I could, you know, at the time, um, you know, I think like Uber came out and like Lyft came out and then like Postmates came out. Um, and I was doing all that, you know, trying to just to survive, you know, and it worked a little bit like I was able to survive a little bit, but it was still not um, not very fun as far as like I was working uh, just to pay my bills barely. Um, and yes, I did uh, work as a, it was like two restaurants, uh, but even working at those restaurants, um, but really famous restaurant, a lot of celebrities, um, go there, that kind of, kind of posh. When I got my check, like the first month, it was, I think it was like $900. And I was like, Whoa, $900. I just did all this. Like I came Monday through Friday, did X, Y, Z. Like this is not even enough to cover my expenses. Like my rent alone, I think was like 1100 bucks. So even just that I'm like already negative, like 200 and I still need to pay my car and buy food, you know? So like, th there's no way like this is not, not okay. Um, so I obviously had to pivot and do something else, you know, and doing that, I would be on the internet. I would see a lot of, um, you know, the people talking about like, Oh, you can create an online business. And you know, these, this is like Facebook ads and e-com. I keep hearing the word e-com, e-com. So it interested me. And I try to figure out like, what's this thing called e-com? And then it was like, oh, well, e-com deals, de deals with digital marketing. It's about creating ads or, or sending ads on, on like, you know, Facebook. And I, I was really interested in that, but I could never find a place or a person to say like, this is how you do it. Like, this is the ABC, right? Like this is uh, for Facebook that for Facebook ads, this is what you need to do for Google. This is how it works. This is how, how these things work. And I could never find, it was always open-ended, you know, now. So I had did a little bit more investigating and then I saw like a, an ad <laughs> that came out. Uh, that came up on Facebook and it was uh, Seth, uh, Seth's uh, course on digital marketing. And I was like, oh, okay, well, is this maybe just another one of those people telling you what they can do for the low price of, you know, I think they're like, oh, buy my course 997 and you're going to do X, all this great stuff. 
I got the course, I paid for the course. And then, then I was like, okay, this is really helpful. Cause this is kind of like what I was looking for. I was looking for that person to give me the, the ABC, you know, like step one, step two, step three. And that was Seth's course. And it was really great. Cause not only did he cover things on like Facebook, but he covered things on Facebook, on SEO, on, um, Google ads and pretty much everything to do with digital marketing and even like how to get a job, how to present yourself. I think it took me, I don't remember like the exact month, but maybe it took me like two or three weeks to finish the course or even a month. But like after that month, it might've been, I don't know if it was like, it could have either been like six to eight weeks that I got like my first actual digital marketing job for like a startup, um, startup oh. agency. Oh, wow. So you, so you took the course and from the day you started taking the course, it was about six to eight weeks before you got your first job. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And that, that happened. The reason that happened, um, was because going through that course, it gave me like so much confidence as far as like applying and being able to speak the language. Um, because I really understood how this worked, you know, so by the way, uh, real quick side note, Seth does have a free digital marketing masterclass where he basically goes over some of the key stuff that you need to know if you think you're interested in digital marketing. Um, and it's totally free. Uh, I took it myself. It's about three hours or so, two, three hours. Uh, very informative. And you can check that out. I'll have that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment. So yes, it took about six to eight weeks to, to, get, to get my first job. Um, and it was, it was a starting position, starting salary, which I think was like $20 an hour. And it was on a contract basis. And that was great because it gave me like hands-on experience on actually, you know, running these, um, Google ad campaigns. And they had me doing, um, I guess all around digital marketing, which they had me doing like Google, Facebook, um, some SEO stuff. And it was a good segue into my, into my current job, uh, which is, um, at, at a Thomson Reuters fine law, which is a really large company and just being part of like, you know, Thomson Reuters company, it's a, a global, um, global enterprise. So that helped me secure this job that I have now, which has allowed me to fund my life in LA, which has also allowed me to not have to really worry about where my next um, uh, paycheck is coming from, or how am I going to pay the bills? You know, it's like a, it's a nine to five job, but as long as you complete the 40 hours in the week, um, you know, you're, you're fine. So it allows uh, for a lot of flexibility, which I like. So it's, it's above average salary. And you don't really need like a, a college degree, you know, all you really need is, is to know the skill and um, be able to communicate with, with clients, you know, and the skills you can learn uh, on your own. Absolutely, for sure. So you were able to land the job without a college degree. Is that what you said? Land a job without a, 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 a university degree. And it's great. Like I said, oh, it's such a weird thing. Like they preferred that I was Google certified and being certified over like a bachelor's degree, you know, even though like posting say like, oh, we want somebody like with a bachelor's or a master's or and uh, then it says like we will it's a plus if you have Google or requires Google certified and being certified. I was like, Oh, yeah, I have that. So that's what I go with. Oh, that's what I went with. And, and um, yeah, the opportunities are, are plentiful. Um, so I, I kind of wanted to touch on a few points. So you kind of mentioned your very first job uh, after uh, getting out of the course, you got that in about six to eight weeks. And mm -hmm. you made about 20 bucks an hour, which is, a, if I'm, I'm doing the calculations in my head, about 40,000 a year. So that's really good for for landing your first job. And I mean, the way I think about it is it's almost like you're getting paid to learn. Right. Yeah. So that's really good. And then uh, if you're comfortable, you can talk about the salary you're getting paid uh, at this the second job that you got. If you're not comfortable, that's totally fine. Uh, you can maybe just talk about like generally what people could expect to be paid uh, after working in digital marketing for one to two years, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. So so I had that job started at twenty dollars an hour. I was there for eight months or something like that before I got the, where I'm at right now, the job where I'm at right now. So when they, they brought me on um, to my current position, they brought me on as, as a contractor. Um, so I came on as a contractor and that the starting salary there was um, 53,000 for the year per for annual salary. Um, so I thought, well, wow, that was really great because I went from 40 to 53, right? So I was like 13K increase, you know? So, and that was within a year. And then when I was on the job, they offered me a full-time position six months later. So six months later, after that, it went from 53 to 65K, um, 
with bonus. So that's another increase of like, I, I don't know, that was like 10, like another 12,000, uh, 12, 13 K um, with the bonus. So within, I don't know, 18 months, I was able to go from, you know, 40 K to 70 with 70 being like with the bonus, what I'm currently making. Um, I've been doing this a little over three years. A lot of people that have been doing this over three years, they can expect to be probably making a lot more uh, between like 80 to even six figures, depending on their position. So yeah, I mean, six figures is very possible within a short period of time. So that's also what I like about it. The op- opportunities are there. The jobs are there. Uh, it's just a matter of you know learning the skills and, and, and putting in you know some of that um, sweat equity, as they say. Got it. Yeah. And uh, how would you say like Seth's course was? Like, did he... Um, kind of, w- was there a group dynamic? Like, were, were there other people you kind of uh, talked with in the Facebook group? Um, did, you know, w- were the teachings really thorough? Did you did you go over the course once or twice? Can you kind of just give a little bit of an overview of how Seth's course was? Yeah, so his course, um, like I said, it kind of, it really breaks down um, from what I got at the time was pretty much every component of um, digital marketing, whether it's Facebook, uh, Google uh, or SEO, it, it kind of broke it down and give it simple. It, it made it simple to understand what this digital marketing is, and the technical side of how to create campaigns, how to optimize campaigns. Uh, really, a um, kind of over your shoulder, um, ca- ca- you know, type of deal. Like you know, you're able to see like actual examples of like, well, if you have, if this happens, do this and this and this, if this happens, do this, you know, which are skills that you need uh, to know before you actually get um, campaigns, like real life campaigns. My biggest takeaway was that it really gave me, give me the confidence to re- one, really understand um, digital marketing as a whole. And from there, I was able to kind of, well, I segued into like running Google ads and paid search, you know, um, I do know his course does t- is teaches a lot about like SEO. So like for people that want to do SEO, maybe you don't even like paid search or you don't want to deal with it. There's like, you know, the SEO components pretty informative too, as well as the Facebook ads, you know, for me, my personal story was just like, I just segued into, you know, paid search. So I know you touched on this a little bit, but could you maybe go over a little bit more about the job satisfaction and kind of the flexibility of digital marketing? Um, because I know there are a lot of careers out there, um, and I actually experienced this myself at one point, where you know you go to the job, you do your eight hours, and then when you get off after your eight hours, you are just totally drained, right? You just you don't have any battery life left, uh, it's pretty much impossible for you to pursue any side hustles or any external goals outside of that, you kind of just want to go home and watch Netflix, right? So uh, digital marketing, can you kind of talk about uh, the, the job satisfaction, the flexibility, and if it allows you to pursue your external goals uh, while you're doing it? Yeah, for sure. Um, that's one of the great things that that I loved about digital marketing, because a lot of these jobs are remote, you work from home. So one thing I will will speak on is working from home obviously means working from home. <laughs> so you don't have to travel or go to the office. Uh, Los Angeles specifically, the mornings are crazy. The flexibility that digital marketing offers me in my case specifically is that I have created my schedule around my endeavors, right? Meaning I know, okay, I'm working from, you know, nine in the morning to 5 p.m. or I'm doing like 8.30 to 4.30. Um, in general, it's eight hours. So I know for a fact I'm working eight hours. I'm not doing no hard labor. I'm not working out in the sun. Um, if I have to go somewhere, I'm able to go on my own free will. You know, that the people I work with are really great. My managers are great. Um, I've, uh, I've always had the, the, my managers and the seniors and the people that, that um, a little, uh, you know, a little bit higher up they're really great and they're really helpful and they understand like, you know, your job is your job. We don't want this to like uh, stress you out. Like we just want you to, you know, come here, do your work. If if you need to go somewhere, uh, go ahead and do that. But, you know, just come back, finish your work and that's it. You know, there's not a lot of stress. Um, Case in point, I think might've been last month. I think I had like an audition for a commercial uh, and it was like at 1130 uh, AM. Um, And just like, when you have these types of meetings with 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 um, auditions, it's it's um it's really hard to change the schedules, you know. So you almost have to like say you're gonna go or just decline. Um, you don't want to decline for like obvious reasons because well, you don't even give yourself a chance. But if you confirm like you're expected that you're gonna go, so normal job anywhere else I would be at if that would happen, 
um, I wouldn't be able to go. I would have to decline. So that would, you know, obviously um, put a, you know, damper in my person because it's like, well, I'm going to feel really bad. Like, oh, wow, I couldn't, I couldn't go there because I'm doing this job. And then when that happens, it, for at least for me, in my mind, it's like, well, well, now I'm kind of like giving up my dream, you know, to a degree. Because like, well, now you have this job, what are you going to do? It's like, you have to choose between art and commerce. And, and um, you can choose art, but then like, if you're not making a lot of money, um, you know, like I said before, it's going to be really, really hard to, to survive. Um, so now with this job, it's allowed me to choose. I'm able to have both, you know, if I need to go, I can, I can go. So that's kind of like the flexibility that digital marketing offers. And which is why I thought it was like a, you know, huge blessing that, you know, I, I got into this field and it allows me to do these kinds of things, you know, which, which makes me happy because I can still pursue uh, what I'm doing and, and still have a, a decent income, um, actually a professional salary, you know, and there's room to grow. Awesome. Well, uh, I think we covered everything. Uh, thanks for sharing your story. Thanks for coming on the channel. Uh, I think a lot of people, especially uh, people who are artistic, I get so many questions from people who uh, want to pursue artistic endeavors. And, you know, typically the advice that I give them is, you know, learn a valuable skill and then pursue your artistic endeavors either on the side or there are a few skills that are are somewhat artistic that you can get a job with as well. But that's usually the advice that I give them that gives them, uh, you know, stability and the chance to kind of launch their freelance business or their entrepreneurial uh, endeavors. And uh, yeah, so that's basically exactly what you're doing. So um, I think that you're you're definitely on the right track there. Uh, and I think that you're going to inspire a lot of people on my channel. So thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it, Orlando. Yeah, for sure. No problem. Uh, and you're spot on, um, you know, with learning a skill and and and, um, and pursue, pursuing your, your artistic uh, endeavor. So yeah, for anybody, I would say for anybody who who's, feels that they're struggling, if you're an artist, um, whether it's music, acting, or wh whatever it is that you do, um, there is hope. Uh, just you know, put a little bit of work in it, and I mean, you'll you'll be good. You know, nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. Um, just get out there, you know, do your thing, and don't uh, give up on your dream, and continue to grind, but grind in the right way. You know, to where you have an actual income. So, by the way, uh, if you're interested in learning more about Seth, because Seth is the guy who actually created uh, the digital marketing course, uh, he's the one who's trained literally thousands of people. He's got thousands of reviews over his, you know, on his Facebook group, Instagram, and YouTube channel. Um, you can check out the interview that we did. I'll put it, I think, right here. I always get confused about that. Yeah, I think I'll put it up here in the top right corner. Uh, so you can just click on that and that'll be a link to the interview to his video.